Hi, from three chapter five, video number one. 新的一课马上就来了。<coughs> 对不起，喉咙塞呀，每天录音。<laughs> OK， so chapter five, our title is called thermal chemistry. Always mean by thermal, thermal mean heat energy, 热能 chemistry 化学。OK， so 化学反应的热能呢？化学反应发生时候。的能量改变 ，so thermal chemistry very short title， 很短的一个 title 罢了。Okay. So for all the chemical reactions, it must involve the heat change. 什么意思呢 ？All the chemical reaction must involve the heat change. 所有的化学反应一定要有能量的变化。Or if no heat change, heat change， 如果没有能量的变化，就不叫化学反应了。Okay, so for all the chemical reactions, it must involve the change of the heat energy. 一定有热能的变化 So sometimes during the chemical reaction, heat energy will be reduced. 有时候当化学反应发生的时候 heat energy will be reduced. 热能呢会被放出来 Or this type of chemical reaction we call exothermic. 这种化学反应就叫 exothermic. So what is mean by exo? Exo means release, 啊，放出来 Exothermic 放热的化学反应 ，OK。But sometimes during the chemical reaction， 有时候在化学反应发生的时候 ，heat energy will be absorbed， 热能呢会被吸进去。Or for this type of chemical reaction， we call endothermic reactions。Always mean by endo 吸进去 ，endo 就是里面的意思了。Endothermic 把热能吸进去的化学反应。So exo and endo 就有这两种的化学反应。放热，要不然就吸热的化学反应 ，exothermic, endothermic reactions. Okay, so what is mean by exothermic? What is mean by endothermic? So now turn to your page number two. 转去我们的第二面了。Exo and endo. So what is mean by exo? 什么叫 exothermic 呢 ？Okay. The reaction in which heat energy is released to the surrounding. 它就是化学反应，热能放出我们周围环境的化学反应。OK， 哦 ，Any example？ 有什么例子呢？我等你抄一下。OK， so now they say I add the sodium hydroxide into the water. 我把 sodium hydroxide 放进水里面。OK， but when the sodium hydroxide dissolves into water， what happened to the temperature of the water？ The temperature of the water increase， 水的温度呢就马上上升了。So why the temperature increase? 为什么它的温度上升呢 ？Simple, the chemical reaction between sodium hydroxide and water release a heat energy. Sodium hydroxide 跟水起反应的时候，它把能量放出来。So the reaction in which heat energy is released to the surrounding 就是把热能放出周围环境的化学反应，这种就叫 exo. Okay, 因为热能被放出来，所以 surrounding temperature will be increase. 啊作为环境的温度呢，就增加了。OK， so now copy another page or copy on another part， 抄在另外一个地方。Surrounding temperature increase， 造成作为环境的温度增加了。So during the exothermic reactions， heat energy is released， surrounding temperature increase， 作为环境的温度增加了，变热气了。OK， next。下一种，哦、oh, ，How about endo? 什么叫 endo 呢<咳> ？So now this is a prepared ammonium chloride. 我准备 ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride 这里是 white color salt. 它是一种白色的盐来的。When I add the ammonium chloride into the water, what happened to the temperature of the water? The temperature of the water decreased. 水的温度呢马上降低。Okay, but why? 为什么水的温度马上降低呢？变冷气呢？好奇怪，对不对？ Okay, simple.、Uh, the chemical reaction between ammonium chloride and water absorbs the heat energy from the surrounding. 它把周围环境的热能吸进去 Okay, ah,、uh, because the heat energy is absorbed, 因为热能被吸进去了，放在它的化学物品里面 That's why the temperature will be dropped. 周围环境的温度却降低了 So what is mean by endo? 吸热的化学反应呢 The reaction in which heat energy is absorbed from the surroundings. 它就是一种化学反应，热能被吸进去的一种化学反应。OK， 哦、oh, 
What happened to the surrounding temperature? Surrounding temperature will be drop. 周围环境的温度就降低了。So this is endo and exo. 放热跟吸热的化学反应，真的有这种事情吗 ？OK， so most of you you just know about exo， 你看到 exo 就知道 OK 了，就很熟悉，对不对 ？But is there any endo？ 真的有这种化学反应呢？你把粉加进水里面 ，and suddenly the temperature will be drop， 水的温度降低呢 ？OK， so in your house， 在你的家呢 ，you just having one example only 啦。OK， or what's example？ Soda， 苏打粉啊。你做面包、做蛋糕的苏打粉，那种小苏打 ，you put into the water， the water going to become cool， you go back and try 啦，你回家试试看，一包两块多罢了，将大包玩到你高兴就对了。Okay， so now I show you the example endo and exo， endo 跟 exo 的化学反应的 example。Okay， so now we watching the video 啦，我们看看 video 一下。Hi, I've got a couple of demos loaded up and ready to go. And、uh, one of these is going to go ahead and give off heat, and the other one's going to have heat taken in. So、uh, I've got a、uh, beaker of water at room temperature. The、uh, red display shows that it. Okay, let me explain. What you see is here. This is a water, and this is a sensor. The sensor of thermometer that put inside the water, or this is a display of the thermometer. You need to wind to see the display light. Okay. Or inside the water, we having the stirrer. It is always stirring, stirring. Okay. Stirring. Near 20 degrees C, room temperature, and I'm going to lower the temperature, and I'm not going to do so electronically like with、um, a freezer, and I'm not going to do it with ice. I'm going to dissolve a solid, which is actually going to、uh, promote an endothermic process. The、uh, solid is called ammonium nitrate, and I have the formula on the board, and I'll point that out to you in just a moment. What's going to happen is water molecules will surround this, and the reaction actually sucks in energy. So we're going to see a nice little、uh, temperature decrease here. So as I tap this in and it's stirring, we're going to see the temperature decrease. So on a good day, it'll drop down to about zero degrees C. So it looks like we've got seven. And it's continuing to drop. The driving force for this reaction is the dissolving. The、uh, ammonium and nitrate ions are being surrounded. Okay, see or not? The temperature drop from 22 degrees Celsius to become six or maybe five point something. Temperature 突然间降低 So when ammonium chloride dissolve in water, it shock in the energy. 它把周围环境的热能吸进去 So that's why the surrounding temperature drop. 周围环境的温度呢降低，所、so, 以这种叫做 endo 吸热的化学反应。How about exo? Exo 又怎样呢 ？An example of exo. Okay. So continue our experiment. 继续我们的实验。A、um, little process loaded up here is just a simple combustion. I have some methanol, which is a one. Methanol or this is alcohol, 一种酒精来的。Okay. Methanol. One carbon alcohol, and I'm going to spray some on the counter and just go ahead and light it on fire. And、uh, flames are given off, a sign that we have heat. And I'll give personal testimony. It's warm. We have yellow, orange, blue flames here. It's combusting. Heat's given off. That energy that's given off is heat. Okay. So burning the methanol, 燃烧酒精 it produces heat energy. 它产生热能 Okay. 刚才差一点烧到我，好彩我散开了 Okay. Chemical energy. Bye bye. So this is endo and exo, 吸热和放热的化学反应 And now, 我们再来了 Okay. So exothermic reactions, 放热的化学反应 So what happened to the reactants? 它的反应体怎样呢 So during the chemical reactions, the reactant lost the heat energy. 反应体的能量呢丢失去不见去了 So when the reaction occurs, okay. When the reaction occur, 加个 re 下去 When the reaction occur, okay, the reactant will lose the heat energy to the surrounding. 反应体的能量呢丢失去了，不见去，被放出来了。Okay, so when the reaction occur, the reactant will lose the heat energy to the surrounding. 它把它化学物品里面的能量丢出去了。Okay. Ah,、uh, since the reactant lost the heat energy, what happened to the product? 它的产品，它的 product 的能量多还是少呢 ？So you look at the diagram. 你看这个这个图片。So during the chemical reaction, the reactant lost the heat energy, and because the reactant lost the heat energy, or、uh, this is what we call the heat change is negative. The heat of reaction is negative. 它化学反应的热能的改变是 negative， 不见去了。So what happened to the product? 
product were having a lower energy condense， 它的 product 的能量呢就降低了。所、so, 以反应体本来里面的能量很多。During the chemical reaction, heat energy is lost. 只能丢出去。So the final product, 最后的 product 的能量呢，却变得比较低了。Okay, so 这种叫 exo 被它丢掉了。最后的 product 的能量降低了。So copy something, 抄一些东西。The total energy contents of the product is less than the total energy contents of the reactant. Product 的能量比起 reactant 的能量。降低了 ，always energy， the heat of reaction is negative， 热能的改变是 negative， 就是说它丢出去了，它不进去了 ，understand？ So product become lower energy contents， 它产品的 energy 减少了 ，OK？ But what happened during the endothermic？ 在 endothermic 的时候怎样呢？ During the chemical reaction, the reactant take in the energy. 反应体呢把能量呢吸进来。When the reactant take in the energy, the new product will having higher energy contents. 它的新的产品呢就有更多更多的能量了。So during the endothermic reactions, when the reaction occur, the reactant will gain the heat from the surrounding. 它的反应体从周围环境拿到热能 ，gain the heat 拿到热能。Or since the reactants gain the heat energy, 因为反应体啊拿到能量 ，OK. And finally, the new product will having higher energy contents. 啊，它的新的 product 的能量呢就更高了，更多了 ，OK. So this is what happens. So the total energy contents of the product is more than the total energy contents of the reactant. Product 的能量。多过 reactant 的能量呢？所、so, 以能量增加了。But where's the energy come from? It come from surrounding. 它来自我们的周围环境。OK. But any examples? OK. Any example like this? 有什么例子呢？有什么化学反应从周围环境吸热进去，造成不断多多能量的呢 ？Or any example of chemical reaction that lost heat energy 把热能丢出去的呢 ？Very normal example. 呃，满街都是 ，just you don't know only 啦，你不知道罢了。Okay, so I show you the example. 我给你看 example， 看看啊。So every day, plant having the process called photosynthesis. 每天植物都进行一种反应，叫光合作用。Okay, and during the photosynthesis, plant take in the carbon dioxide. 它把二氧化碳吸进去。At the same time, planting in the water, 它也把水呢吸进去，对不对 ？But before I continue, you look at the carbon dioxide. Is there any energy contents in the carbon dioxide? 二氧化碳里面的能量 actually is more or less 是多还是少的呢？很少，几乎没有能量的。And how about water? If you drink water, can the water so supply you any energy? 你喝水呢？水能给你能量的吗？根本不能。So every day during the photosynthesis, planting in carbon dioxide, there's no energy, 一点点啊 And at the same time, planting in the water, and the water actually is having a very low energy contents. But 什么叫光合作用 Okay, 它用光能把二氧化碳跟水里面的东西呢合起来 So during the photosynthesis, planting in the light energy and heat energy from the sunlight, 植物呢拿到了阳光的能量，也就是我们所谓的热能。Okay. Oh oh, computer hangs. 电脑 hang 不了。对不起。Okay. So during the chemical reactions or during the photosynthesis, planting in the heat energy and the light energy from the Sunlight, but actually, it's light energy only. Lah, it brings the sun's energy in, and the energy is being sucked in, right? And the energy joins the carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. This energy is joined by carbon and water together. 超过了刚才的二氧化碳跟水，对不对 ？So this is what we call endothermic. 这种情况就叫 endothermic reaction， 吸热的化学反应。So plant having photosynthesis is going to reduce the temperature of the earth. 它会减少我们地球上的温度，减少温度温室效应啦。Or why? 它把能量吸进去了。明白吗 ？Or because producer, 我们叫它出产者，出产者。Because plant having the photosynthesis, they take 
in the energy from the environment， 它能把周围环境的能量吸进来 ，become our food 啦，变成我们的碳水化物。Or that food going to supply us energy， 将会提供我们热能能量，这种叫吸热。And、continue. 你再看呢？啊、uh, ，during the respiration, so not plant animal eating the plant. 动物呢，我们吃的植物，我们吃掉了它的碳水化物。We take in the oxygen. Okay, 我们也吸进了氧气。But remember what we have inside the carbohydrate. 碳水化物里面呢有什么东西呢 ？It contains a lot of energy. 它有很多很多的能量，对不对 ？So after the respiration, 燃烧食物，氧化食物过后 ，we produce a carbon dioxide and water. 我们产生了二氧化碳和水。So the new product, 你看这个 product 呢有没有能量？没有能量。So, 刚才的 respiration, we take in the food glucose, we suck in the oxygen, 我们吸进的氧气。So, 它的 reaction, 它的反应体的能量比较多，就是葡萄糖了。By the end, 你看我们放出来的葡萄能量不进去了，是比较少去了。Okay, so where's the energy? 那个能量被我们放出来了。Okay, so 这边就是我们所谓的 exo 化学反应过后，你的反应体的能量变成新的补的，没有能量的补的，把的 energy finally go back to the environment 啊，那股能量回去了大自然了。Okay, so any example, photosynthesis 就是一种 endo. Okay, carbon dioxide and water compared to the sugar and oxygen, 它们的能量比较少。So endo 就是它把能量光能吸进来。Become the sugar plus oxygen, so 这边的能量比较高。Okay, 总叫 endo 啦。So product having the higher energy contents compared to the reactant. How about exo 放热的呢 ？So glucose having a lot of energy plus oxygen, but after respiration, 燃烧食物过后，氧化食物过后 ，it produces carbon dioxide and water plus energy. Okay, so now the final product, lah, it 最后的 product having lower energy contents, 二氧化碳和水能量非常的低 So where's the energy? Give back to the environment, lah, 还给大自然了，明白吗 Okay. So fill in the blank again. 填我们的 notes 再一次 Changes of energy, 能量的变化 Okay. So for exothermic, exothermic, 它的能量的变化是什么呢？它放热，对不对？放热的化学反应 ，so the chemical energy finally become heat energy 啦，就是我们食物里面的化学能，最后变成大自然的热能啦。Chemical energy from the food， 也就是刚才我们的燃烧食物 ，chemical energy from the food finally become heat energy in the environment， 就是你放出来的热。How about endo? Endo 又怎样呢 ？The heat energy from the environment, 作为环境的热能，变成你的化学物品里面的能量。The same as the photosynthesis. 那作为环境的热能，变成你的 product 里面的新能量了，变成化学物品了，变成 glucose 了。Okay. So endothermic, 它是热能变化学能，热能就收在新的 product， 就叫化学物品了。So heat energy to chemical energy, 热能变成化学能 Okay, so this is endo and exothermic reaction, 吸热放热的化学反应 Okay, bye bye. So this is the first video lah. Bye bye. We continue the next video. 下次下一个 video 再走 Bye bye.